welcome to Hit and Sit Show number 35, the 2024 team and roster rumors show. And we're also going to reveal the major and watch list for 2024. My panel today, Justin Mucciarelli, double A champion from Rufex, uh, swings pure. He won the MVP for the double A as the pitcher. Uh, we got supposed to have Jason Magnum. He no showed us. Uh, we do have Chris Griner from Nitro Circus. What are you swinging these days, Chris? Uh, I'll swing. I'll be swinging Juno this year. Still the Juno. Yeah. He put together the team for Nitro Circus last year. I think he's putting it together this year. We'll get to that in a minute. And of course, Joel Sanchez, shortstop for S and E. Uh, I think you're a free agent this year, swinging the D Marini. Is that right? That's correct. That's correct. All right. Uh, we just got done with the Worlds at Space Coast Stadium. It was a the month of October was let's face it, it was a celebration of softball. We crowned a dozen champions at all different levels. I think the co-ed world starts this Friday um, or Saturday at Space Coast. It was a record year for views, uh, YouTube views. USA Live had its best year ever. Um, Team-wise, we had about the same amount of teams we did the past couple of years at Worlds. Um, we're going to jump into it with uh, just talking to you guys first about Worlds and uh, maybe a touch on your season. but. We'll start with Mooch. Uh, how did Worlds go for you and your team? Uh, do you have any stories from Worlds maybe that didn't have to do with your team? Something you saw at the tournament that uh, a major double A that that impressed you? Also, I was going to ask, uh, are the Slammies ever going to come out? Uh, we'll start with the Slammies. Uh, I got to get the final approval on that. I see a smirking G. Company, company man's got to ask questions first. Soft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so take us real quick if bernie could share my screen i did get a picture of mooch someone took it while he was in line at the uh airport to come home after playing those 15 games or whatever it was if Six you could share my screen bernie i got a picture this is what that... mooch at the airport <laughs> someone uh, sent me. i would but, say yeah. that that's inaccurate because I was in a full blown wheelchair. So full not a walk. Wheelchair. Just hey, run but us I, through that week. How long did it take you to recover and and, and tell us you know, maybe something about something you saw at the worlds that, that you could share with us? I mean, it was a great run. I mean, let's be honest, if we didn't have predominantly twenty year old kids um in the field behind me, a lot of that would have never happened. Um you know, great sponsors all the way around. Team played unbelievable. Very fortunate. Um, and then they go into the major and knock out two major teams and, you know, play seven games there was pretty remarkable. Um, I mean, what did I, what, like, what did I really see at the major? I, there's a lot of good talent. We know that. The ball. There was at one point I was like, oh, this ball's good. You know, a lot of home runs and stuff like that. <clears throat> but at night and stuff and in the morning, I mean, that ball was just a rocket launcher. I mean, um, do I think that's good? Do I think that's good at the Major World Series? I, I do. Um, it is the one tournament. So it doesn't matter if Kyle Pearson, you know, and Josh Riley's are hitting them 500 feet. You know, someone else can just spin one 327 down the line and it still counts as a homer. So. I guess it kind of keeps it fair play with the double A teams playing the major teams. So, but all in right. all, like I said, very successful week for the Rufex guys and very proud of them. Would you say on the 325s of the double A, the, the hardcore ball was too much ball? Uh, I think it was. It seemed like everybody was hitting their homers, all 14 uh, turns into long games. Obviously, we played seven in a row on Monday to win it and the only break we had they were all scheduled right back to back the only break we had were maybe waiting for you know a game to finish up from another field that we had a winner of of you know two innings and then walk into the stadium but in the same sense i feel that played into our advantage because when everybody could hit the home runs i knew we had the best defense of their defensive team there and when you will let we do have some very good sneaky power, but when you 
enable us to let us hit our 14 home runs, I felt nobody could beat us. Yeah, you had the huge run at the double A, seven straight, and then the major was like four or five straight, beating two major teams, great run. Uh, we'll move over to Chris Griner. You you helped or you put together Nitro Circus. I think you ended up doing some sponsorship with your, is it Adaraxis? Yeah, uh, Adaraxis. Security? <clears throat> yes. That's your personal security company? Yeah, that's my personal business. Okay. And, and so you had a strange year because you were five and 18 against double A teams as a double A team, but six and 10 or five and 10 against major teams. How, how would you explain that? And how did your world series go? Um, well, you know, those, a lot of those major guys, it's the same thing. They're built for the stadium. They're not built for 300 foot fences. And, um, you know, a lot of those guys, you know, they, they're worried about numbers. So, you know, they ain't going to make too many outs trying to hit the ball down. Um, and that always allows you to catch up if you're better hitting, hitting the ball down or um, something like that. Um, you know, the guys I, played better, played up better, would you say? Or a looser? No, I think it has to do with um, – I, I don't know, man. I had a, it was a disappointing year for me. <laughs> a, men, a mental game, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, our defense was horrendous, um, which I thought was going to be good in the beginning of the year. Um, pitching was horrible. Um, we finally got Hoser, who helped us out a big deal. Um, but before that, we were we weren't that good of pitchers. We had pitchers that were scared. It would just throw cookies when we played certain teams. Um, it just, I mean, in our World Series. There's been a lot of that going around, to be honest. But we'll talk about 2024 in a moment here. Joel, 12 and 12 versus Double A teams on the year. Five and 10 against Major. You had second place at Myrtle Beach as well as the Evansville Duel. I feel like you guys got maybe got roofed, roofied. Kind of against uh, getting knocked out of the double A there, but uh, how did your world go? What did you see? It's, it's same thing. Um, I uh, I don't look at the numbers. I don't look at the numbers. All I remember is that like every other major team was meh, and we smacked them no problem. Every other team that we played that, but being that that zero and six against Resmondo, and then watching, and then like you just pointed out, Nitro Circus had beat them. Once this year, no problem. Yeah. Like I'm like, bro, what? And then people forget. Last year, Mooch got second place, and he came all the way back after playing nine thousand games again. Yeah. And then he switched teams, and then he made Laser Dave and Bradley Scott second place again this year. Like, bro, that was crazy. Like, there was no reason to watch anybody else at that point. Like, I was averaging watching Rufex. Everybody except McClanahan. McClanahan has his little knee slide, not really a dive. You know, he's, he can't get up many times. Everybody had an average of like four or five dives. Everybody. <laughs> like it, it was, it, they weren't even close sometimes. Miller's out there just flying around. Bros, it, it was outstanding to watch. Um, There's a couple games where I'll be like, damn, everything just landed you guys' way. But then you watch, you watch the games and like, there's like things that could have been done, things that couldn't have been done. There's things that there's a couple of times where I'm like, ooh, that's a big one. And bro, like honestly, we played great. And then we decided to be like, wait, let's try to let the other team set the pace so that we can chase them. And like, there's too much it inexperience. This is too much inexperience that we have. We had a lot of bad. <laughs> it, it looked like a good year, don't get me wrong, but it was just it, 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 it's just another building. A little inconsistent, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, we're going to move on. This is what everybody's been waiting for. The 2024 rumors, team lists, rosters of the major double-A teams. We'll try to touch on some A-B real quick. We'll get into it with you guys, what you're doing this year. If Bernie could share my screen, hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, it's just a <laughs> Google Doc we'll go through here. But uh, major division, Rosmondo is coming back. They're the defending champions. Um. Sonny's is having a team. I, now, I reached out to all 37 conference teams. Only 12 of them responded with what they were doing for next year. So 
So this is there's a lot of question mark here, right? So Rismondo, Sonny's, Rufex, Competitive Edge, Bad Draw. Mooch, what do you think the team name is going to be there? Has that been decided? Those uh, are the three sponsors, though. I don't think it's uh, fully been decided, but uh, those are the three uh, main sponsors that you just named. Uh, Mike Yoder, Brandon Cashwell, Mark Patterson. Um, still waiting here back from Tony Albacoco. Um, but I'm pretty sure Tony will be involved also again to help out a little bit, whatever he can. All right. I'm trying to reshare my screen. Bernie, let me know if, if the people can see that. You guys can see that, right? Yeah. Okay. It's for Zamando, Sonny's, Rufex are the major teams we know of. I reached out to Mark Carucci about MPT. He did not respond. Uh, there is a rumor that he's putting together a team. There's a rumor he's not. What have you guys heard about MPT? Anybody? I saw one of their trucks earlier setting up cones. That's that's all I know. <laughs> They're putting together a team. They got um, Matty Mo, Caparelli, Clifton. Um, uh, Mapes, I believe, is a question mark. So he's going. He's going with some of the new talent coming up. You would say. Yeah, I think um, you know some sponsors are cutting some payroll. You know. Yeah. So we take Tell the question the mark off of MPT. Yeah, you can. Dan Smith. I reached out to Pat Del Saunders. They said they're in talks with him. They're not going to be. No. They're not going to be a main sponsor. Nobody's going to swing Proton as a full team and be a major team. Proton, they have to swing Proton. Yeah, that's that's their stipulation. Anybody else hear anything about Dan Smith? Uh, Dan I know they reached. I know they reached out to me <laughs> and yeah. asked me what the uh, young kids were doing next year. And like Greinert said, that was one of the first things they said was um, Proton. I said, "New phone, who does?" <laughs> I think, to be honest, if I'm Dan Smith, I've been away from the game for one year, I would go get an O.J. McFarlane, a Mooch, a Spencer Sangster, a, a Brandon Miller, and I would say, you know what, put me together a major team, right? And when you do that, you get like 12 major guys, nine of them work out, right? Some Three of them have an injury that first year, something happens. So what I would do if I was Dan Smith, I would go sponsor a JBL or an S and E sponsor that double A team and just tell them, look, I'm going to pick one of your guys off this team uh, during the season to fill in my hole that I need, you know, you're going to have as a first year major team. Don't, don't you think Dan Smith should just put together two teams? What do you think? Yeah, I, think I think they should just throw me some money. And I'll put together a team for them. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Griner will do it. That's right. just, none of them could run it. Dale, it's funny you mentioned uh, Spencer Sangster. He's he's also yeah. with us with Rufex. Right. So we'll get that in, that in a second. These are the teams I think we know are not coming back. JBL said they didn't think they were coming back. They did respond to me. Chick-fil-A responded. John's taking a year off. He might be back in 2025. Sightman uh, is done after a couple of years. Uh, we'll miss those guys. They had a lot of good energy around the conference. Um, but we're going to go to the major rosters. So I know Bernie's saying this is showing up blurry on the stream. I'm not sure why it's crystal clear on my screen, but it looks um, good on too. here's the Rufex. We're calling them Rufex Competitive Edge Bad Draw. I don't know what order. Albacoco <laughs> is probably a part of this. Uh, Mooch, you want to go over the, the changes from this year to, to last year? Um, I'm looking at the roster. That's that's a correct roster. Um, obviously, a couple guys aren't coming back. Um, that was their you know personal choice. That's pretty much all I really have to say in that. So, but yeah, that is that is a correct roster for us for 2024. So you're picking up Kyle Center, Logan Rogers, uh, Mitch Lundensky. Ryan Honeycutt and uh, Tyler Irvine. Those guys, a lot of those guys from Competitive Edge, of course. 
coaches Mike Yoder, Spencer Sangster from Dirty Vegas. Uh, and then you see the sponsors listed, Mike Yoder, Brandon Cashwell, Mark Patterson, and, and you're saying possibly uh, Tony Albacoco. Correct. So there's your 2024 Rufex team as of November 1st or 2nd. Obviously, things can change. Uh, we're going to move on. We thought we were having Jason Magnum on, but I guess we'll touch on Rosmondo. This is what I think Rosmondo is. Uh, Helmer did reach out. He said they're coming back. He said the final roster will be after the convention, USSA convention in mid-November. Uh, but here is what I pieced together, bringing back the same team as last year, except they're adding Bubba Mack, Jason Matusik, and uh, they they parted ways with Scott Hartling, Chad Mullins, and who am I missing? Uh, Everett Everett Williams, Williams, I think. Anybody else here any different? No. That looks pretty good. Bubba Mack, Jason Matusik, two of the best stadium hitters there are, plus really pretty solid defensively. So Rosmondo, you probably have to say, improves here on paper. Although they had a record season offensively, so I don't know if he can really get any better. Sonny's, uh, this is not their roster. I was going to have Magnum tell me what to do with this roster. This is their roster from last year. So I think we know Layman's gone. Uh, help me out here. Matusik's gone. Sport. Sport's gone. You know where he's gone? Not a clue. Uh, oh, John, Nelson. John, John Nelson retired. Stopped John playing. John Nelson retired. Uh, Wellborn. Wellborn's a question mark. Wellborn's uh, Wellborn's figuring it out. And and then they added what? Bill Pinkham. Dang. And was, Daniel yep. Caton. Yeah, Caton went back. Yeah. Anybody else they add that we know of? <clears throat> No, but looking at that, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess they're going after another outfielder. Yeah, they lost Matusik, so you got to figure Story, Steele, Lewis, and Yates in the outfield, maybe Fife. Uh, oh, is Lloyd coming back? Um, I don't think so. Has he been there since uh, Smokey? Yeah, we haven't seen him in a while. You got Fife, Barnes. Wick, Caton, uh, Daw probably in the infield. And then uh, I guess they could use a big bat too, right? No, they got another spot for a big bat. But this is what we're going to go with for Sonny's uh, as of <coughs> November 2nd. They did not respond, and Magnum didn't show. I thought he was going to give us the clue. Uh, what else we got? So... That's the major division. Uh, there's Mono Sonny's roof X, and it sounds like MPT's going going with younger players to reduce the payroll. And with Dan Smith trying to figure out if there's a spot or players available. But let's go to the double A division. Classic Glass told me they're coming back. I'm assuming Nitro Circus is coming back. What do you got, uh, Chris? Um, I don't have anybody returning. No returners, but you got a team. Yeah. <laughs> any any names? Or are you not ready to to throw those out? I think I'm behind that, honestly. Um. Yeah, me and Martel. Um, got a few guys that are locked in. Chris Mar our Chris Jason Martel's coming. He's not retiring. Here's what. No, I got him. I got him to throw another year in. Branch? Is he involved? No. He's with West Point. West him Point. And West, I think the West Point lady and him was trying to build something. Okay. I'm pretty sure about it, actually. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll anxiously await that roster. It'll be a good one. Sports Reach said they're coming back. You're telling me West Point's coming back? They did not respond to me. I assume they're they supposed are. to be... 
Actually, yeah, they're supposed to be joining with uh, Jason Branch. Is supposed to be going over there and helping them build something. Okay. Straight play won the A Worlds. I heard they're going double A. You guys, they they're talking with a couple guys too. There, they might combine with JBL. JBL. Yep. And then the four teams in red: LSR, NFM Lending, Epic, and Primetime. I think they're all coming back. LSRs and NFM told me they're coming back. Primetime told me. I haven't heard from Epic, but these are four teams that made the major. U Trip may or may not ask them to start the season double A or TBD. So they could wind up back in A, I think, depending on the roster. Uh, so that's four teams. And then so S and E, I heard an S and E Bay Area rumor, Joel, but you're telling me S and E's done. Right? Yeah, right now, uh, uh, Elvin, uh, Elvin's pretty unpredictable. I can see it at the last minute, him assembling some type of thing. But right now, there's he's under too much quagmire that it's just like uh, it's getting in the way. And and we, yeah. we do we need a coach real real bad? You know, it's yeah. hard to find hard to find somebody who will sign up for coaching, especially with Elvin. Right. So no truth to the S and E Bay Area. Room. No. Uh, th- we always no. talk uh, Bay Area. They 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 keep coming back, but it's just like there's no meeting in the middle with Elvin. Like, it never seems like, it yeah. never seems like we get something done. So, anybody else heard anything about Bay Area? I actually haven't. No, I don't think I don't think uh, Yoli's responded to an email, text, or phone call of mine in five years. So, <laughs> I guess. I'm just never going to get any information. I there. told him that. He said, you must have the wrong number. He always replies to people. <laughs> uh, Seminoles has been in contact with me. They they thought they were going to know by last Friday, but then they came back Friday and said it's still up in the air. Whether they would be A or double A is they're probably right there on the fence as as usual. Anybody yeah, else got, got a double A team that I they just know? Got- I just got a text message in here that says um, uh, for Monster, uh, OGKP is on Monster. Oh, okay. I forgot about him. Yep, you're right. Yeah, we did forget about that. So we go over here. We'll have all this information on an, in an article for the uh, Al Pearson. So we can put him in green since he's new. Anybody else have a double A team that they think might be playing double A? New team, a new sponsorship group? Uh, I can't think of anything. No. I mean, there's, All right, so there's you know, there's enough, looking, there's enough players sitting at home between watch list and major to make about two major teams and four double A teams. That's probably true. It probably so double A for sure is five to I would say nine. There's gonna be five to nine teams. All right, we're gonna go down to the possible A B teams real quick before we reveal the lists. Cheap suits told me they're coming back. Dirty Vegas told me they're coming back. Uh from everything I hear, Rebel straight play is coming back, but they didn't actually tell me that. Uh true. We think is coming back. They did not respond. Beachy's coming back. They're going to be A or B. The way they played last year, I I think you just add some pieces and play A. They seem to play better up, to be honest. Uh, The new team on the block is Thunder, Baloli, Chosen, Rapid Fire, KLNR. They're trying to play B. Like, we got players from all over the U.S. and Canada with higher level experience. There's just no way that team's going to be able to play B. Uh, Vivid said they're coming back. Not sure. What, they didn't, weren't sure what that's going to look like. Corsi Realty Elite Security out of California is going to come back. Vivid's coming back? Uh, that's what he told me. So. Till, till August 1st, right? <laughs> till <laughs> August, yeah. Uh, maybe they have better luck this year. Uh, Pro X, Pro Axion, however you say that, out of Quebec, Canada, told me at the B World they finished second at the B. They knocked off the number one seed prime time at the A the next day, and they told me they're going to have a conference team. We'll see. That'd be, they're a fun team to watch. 
two teams from Texas said they're probably going to play conference peer pressure. All right. Did I say that right? Peer pressure. Yeah. Peer doesn't have anything to do with peer, does it? Or does it? Yeah. I mean, oh, it does. I mean, that was their original name anyway, but they, you know, could be a uh, factory team next year. Okay. Two, probably B teams or A teams, peer pressure on future ones. Question mark on Aristotle, Taylor made Van Wert Frickers. I did not hear from those teams. Van Wert won the B. There's all kinds of talent in Ohio. You would think it would be pretty easy for them to come back. And then uh, Brandon Miller mentioned something about two teams from Arkansas. So I don't know if that's if that's uh, Aristotle, maybe one of them. Uh, but anybody else here any, about any A, B teams cross country thinking about conference? I mean, I always, I always said, and I'm sure everybody on the panel will agree, um, in the last – Two years, you know, with Cincinnati being taken away, losing Columbus, Ohio. Um, there was another one in Illinois at one point, and they even brought Michigan back. If you even bring back two of those tournaments, you'll get, I'm a firm believer, that you're going to get six to ten more conference teams. Because when you are in the Midwest, just like how my guys started, they were able to drive the eight events and then fly to the Florida Duel. So, I mean, when you're in that Midwest region, yeah, you know, if they added, you know, I know it sucks for West Coast teams or even East Coast teams, but oh, that Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee region, I mean, it's just loaded with talent, and it does make it a lot easier when you get to drive to say six events at least, and then flew to two duels. You know, there you get your whole conference season right there, and it's not really costing a lot of money. Yeah, no question. Uh, I think we're looking at a minimum of 28 teams, but I think we'll get 34 teams is my prediction. Yeah. This list is actually a little more robust than it usually is. And and people think, you know, people think the worst every year, like it, the conference is going to drop off, but uh, kudos to the sponsors and the people that put together teams like yourself, Chris, that uh, come through and make the conference a, a great thing every year. So Anybody have anything else on the teams to add? What are, what are you hearing, Joel? Pendle Wellborn is on on Sundays. He's coming back. Oh uh, yes, okay. yeah. All the all that was just venting prior the whole year. <laughs> yeah, no, I told him me too. I told him me too. I've gotten four different other ones. I got every time you mention the team, I got a different message that says, "What are your plans next year?" <laughs> and we're like. I mean, like, bro, I, I, I don't know, being alive. I also just got a text uh, from someone from West Point saying Jason Branch is not with West Point. Ah, the plot thickens. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to move on to the major list. The reveal of the major list. So, Ernie, let me know if you can see my screen. The reveal. Hopefully, the people at home can see my screen. These are the people that they click to me. They were a little conservative on the list, but it's pretty good. They they cleaned it up uh, pretty good. So a lot of these players here are either older players or were kind of fringe guys that had one big year and won worlds or was all conference one time. These are all the guys that are removing. You know, veterans like Mike Brambilla, uh, Gilliland, Isaac Gonzalez, Chente Granados, Alexander Montano, Leif Nemo, Leif Nemo, uh, Buckshot, he's got to be in his 50s, right? Still, all these guys, to me, are good conference players still, but uh, maybe if you're looking to pick up a guy, they don't no longer count as points, right? So I anybody, anybody on here that they disagree with? Can't see the list. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's still still got the major division stuff up. I guess I have to reshare each screen. Hang on. Oh, on a on a side note, I just got another text message. It said Lasky to Rufex rooming with Mooch. Mm. <laughs> Are we gonna be able to do slammies? <laughs> I think that has zero percent chance of happening. That does. Gee, that's a slamming itself right there, boy. 
All right, Bernie can share my screen. These are the guys that went from the watch list to zero points. Ooh. I'm sure they're all going to be happy. Uh, what? Reinhard, I, I do not see you on here, Chris. I, I wasn't on the watch list. <laughs> oh, right. I should have yeah. been on the watch list. Technically, one of the old things we used to do with the list is you could only move one level per year. Uh, and the other thing is we never put a guy, rarely put a guy from no points to the major list in one year. And they did not do that this year. So they they held true to the older standards. But did anybody see anyone on here that maybe shouldn't, shouldn't be not coming on? The these, are, these are people that are on the list at all? Yeah, they these all guys got are all. They're, they just got taken off. Shit. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little surprised on a couple of them. I thought Greg Downing had a good year. I thought Travis mm-hmm. Tucker had a good year. Tyler Wiles got hurt. Yeah, Wiles. Um, I thought Zachary Ross, he, he was hitting it every time I saw it. I, don't, I must, I must yeah, be missing I, a couple of things. I agree. Dylan there's Smith. A, yeah, there's a handful of guys on here that could be put back on real quick next year. Yeah. Bill Cullen, Bill Cullen, right? Yeah. Yeah, but hey, these guys got a break. If you need a guy that's zero points, take a look at yeah. this list. Dude, right there, right out of the gate, Jeffrey Bloom, Corey Booth, Tim Bowser, like right. <laughs> Bloomer, hello. Yeah. All the, yeah. you know, Jose Flores. Is it, Jose. Like, get a squad going on here. Yeah. Hey, sometimes you get a committee that doesn't value the pitching, and those guys get a break. So, how's conference? conference keep- Conference Keith McCormick. I thought he was, he was the best player in the world. How does he not know anything? <laughs> Nemo, Reef, Reef is taking he off was on that Thunder team for the B and the A. I was, start, I was calling him non-conference Keith last year. Non-conference Keith. Uh-oh. He's out that way with you, right? Yeah, he lives in New York. Dylan Smith. He's, yeah, Dylan he Smith. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just saw that. I was like, hey, okay. Like that whole that, first row, I'm still working on it. Professional header can do a little. Pitching. So you could take all those dudes and make an A team. You can make. Gee, don't really get no ideas. ideas. Yeah. Dude, honestly, well, dude, if they I'm play double A, they, play right double right a they still have a double A PRV. So you yeah. couldn't take all. You know what I mean? That that's not true. It's the point system. <laughs> there's gonna it, be there's gonna be some changes. Talking. There's gonna be some changes. I know you guys will like. <laughs> You know, that little rule about how many major guys play major in the past and all that, that's really, that's not a rule. That's just something people talk about. No, it's actually a rule in the rule book. It's just what Andy is? Purcell doesn't believe in the rules. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's going to go right. back out to the point, the point system. Damn, Trap Tucker even got taken off. Yeah. Yeah. All right, can you see this one? Yeah. All right, it's no <laughs> list to watch list. Austin so Andrews me. finally finally got on there. I know. He was on a no list this whole time. Uh, Robo yeah. was on the no list. What? Uh, no. So Robo is the one typo. He he was on the watch, and there was a mix-up. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, he just stays on the watch, supposedly retiring. <laughs> Caparelli, rookie of the year, goes from uh, nothing to watch, so he didn't go to the major. Cardwell finally gets put back on. Hoskins. Uh, Kyle Johnson had a phenomenal year. Of course, Lambright stepped it up. Austin Mapes was a rookie of the year candidate, as was Matt Mosel. Joey Miller from uh, Rufex, the first baseman. Hunter Oliver from S&E. Dagmar Pena from Sports Reach. Jordan Robinson from S&E. Jonathan Sierra from NFM. Troyer from Troyer and Ray Yoder from uh, Rufex. Anybody disagree with any of those? Yeah. What? Hunter. Huh? Hunter shouldn't be on it. Hunter Oliver? Yeah. He should get taken off. No. Hunter I mean, hit Hunter hit the fastest Jordan. line drives, but the thing is he couldn't hit the bombs when he needed to. Jordan, Jordan and Hunter, I agree with you 100%. They played at their 30% potential. Wow. But they Both still made should be taken off the list. Oliver was batting fourth for a double A team. That's it's hard to not put him on, but it didn't I, broke I, my I don't think just, he broke my thumb at the double A. Actually, they oh, they both they they're both like if you take emotion and pressure out of everything, those dudes are five tools. Like, 
They well, could probably. You know, they're, they're going over there with you guys. So it's like they're they're they're, they're and they're outstanding teammates. So. Gee, they should be on the world G, world G, G, they should be on the major list. Definitely both of them. What? Mm-hmm. Not like him. I, I actually had Yoder on the major list. Who, <laughs> so Brandon? Yeah. There's there's three guys that should be on that major list for sure. Cap. Moselle. And whoever else is going to another team besides mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought Cardwell mashed it all year, man. Yeah. yeah he, he's a good he's a good player. And Mapes. Listen, I love I, – I always give rookies one thing. Like, they're allowed to free swing. Yo, if you can't even hit free swinging, then you can't hit, bro. Like, I, so, like, Mapes and Moselle and all those cats. Like, guess, eh, Caparelli's a little bit. Caparelli's like a he's – like he's like a Sanchez rookie. Like, he got there the second year, but everyone thinks it's the first. So. <laughs> well, he, he only played in the major World Series, right? Yeah, no yeah. big deal. Yeah, and he came in second in the double league. Yeah, no big deal. All right, moving on to the watch list guys that went to major. Keith Barnes, Brian DeZern, Jeremy Fry, Arliss Miller, Ryan Ramirez, Tyler Story, Adam Ussery, who might have already been on the major list once, and Donnie Walsh. Any any uh, guys that shouldn't be on the major list there? No. That Arliss was killing it, bro. That dude was just tip top. I don't know. I expect a little more out of out of story. I think story has a little more, a little more oomph on it. And so as well as Donnie Walsh. I seen him hit it further than Harvey though. That's just crazy. Yeah. No, I I think all these guys are deserving. Uh I think they went back a little bit to who made all conference. Remember they used to if you made all conference for the first time, you went on the watch. If you made it for the second time, you went to the major. I feel a little bit of that in the way this list came out. Yeah, I mean, I'm shocked. Heath, Heath Barnes should have been on the major list. Like he should have been there. Yeah, he should have been there. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. We, I think the committee's undervalued defense and pitchers over the years. What? No way. <laughs> All right. Guys that were on the major list that came off and went to the watch list. You can only move one list a year. Look at that third name. What is going on there? The dude dude on the fourth thing, he's won like four majors in a row. Oh, my. Dale, are you sure that ain't a typo? Put an an asterisk next to that third name for for time being. This is a picture, but I'll I'll put an asterisk. (laughs) Like a career major level player getting put on the watch. He's old. He's washed up, that guy. Thank you. I agree. (laughs) It's all in who you know. <laughs> that's, been a, that's been a long time coming right there. I've been, I've been marketing myself for seven years to get taken off that Seven day. years to get taken off. What made you play Steve. on? Combat? Funny? <laughs> and MPT? I don't know. Dan Smith. Dan Smith. I forgot yeah. about Dan Smith. Looks like Brady Stewart, Curtis Stewart, Stidham, Doval's. Has been around Zane Trammell. I don't know. I I can't disagree or I can't figure. I out can go pattern. both ways on a lot of these guys. I can't seem to figure out the pattern how you move down. How you move down? Like there's Dombrowski, then there's Elwanger, and then there's Chris Brainer, but then there's Scott Hartley, and there's Emerson. I'm really like, hmm. dude. Scott won the World Series four like four years in a row, bro. The major, World Series. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right. On the women's side, you probably can't see this. I really don't know what people are seeing. Uh, we'll just touch on it quick. The was a rookie of the year was Alyssa Derrick. She went straight to the major list. On the women's side, they had two people go straight to the major list. <coughs> uh, looks like they cleaned up the list, taking a bunch off the watch to zero points. And then a bunch down from major to watch and not as many join in the list. So it looks like the men's and the women's list shrunk a little bit, but we'll have the final list up on conference, 
the tab at the top that says whatever players, I think, underneath that, we'll have it on there 20 minutes after the show's over. Um, no, it's a good thing to see, though. From no list to watch list, and Reporter and Tammy Strange, they balled out pretty well this year. Okay. Yeah. They did a really good job. Middlesdorf had a great year. Yeah. Dude, yeah. That whole chaos cat, that whole chaos ca- ca- cast, yeah. chaos, the team chaos. Yeah. Yep. Chaos won the double A. So here's your final men's major list. I don't know how visible that is, but this is what will be up on conference. in a few minutes. Uh, looks like a solid list. It, Really don't have the older players that used to hang around on this list still on there. It's pretty cleaned up. Uh, I you can't really argue too many guys on here. Oh, Anybody I love it. I'm still it. on the watch list. Yeah, Mooch still on the watch. CG, CG, I'm old man too, buddy. <laughs> what list are you on, Joel? Wow, I have no idea. You I, just my, I have an older brother. His name is Daniel Sanchez. So it always makes me laugh when I look at it. Oh, yeah. He was my Uber driver in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the one feeding him all them drinks? <laughs> yeah, Sanchez don't want to be an Uber driver. That's for sure. On a side note, on a side note, kind of funny, kind of true. You know what list I would love to see, Dale? Yeah. And I know you can figure it out. I know I could probably figure it out. I know Joel can figure it out. And I'm damn sure Griner can figure it out. Why don't we have a list of how many couples slash married people are in the conference together? <laughs> I, I don't know that those people. <laughs> that are faithful? <laughs> Is that the, which category? What are we talking about? <laughs> We're moving on. We're moving on. The watch list. The watch list. Joel, you're on the watch. There you go. You, Grinert, you, Grinert, and Mooch are all equal. Really? Mooch has got like the all-time high in rings. I know. And playing catcher, it seems like it sucks. Listen, man. Catcher seems tedious. It's terrible. Terrible. I got a pretty good team. We could start the hit and sit show team. We got a pitcher, a shortstop, and a power hit. Dude. Don't give Griner any ideas, Dale. Stop. I'll play that whole middle. Griner's trying to put an elite team together with elite players and still play oh. double A. I know what he's doing over there. I'm playing A. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Salas. You think he would still be a good player if he came back? Been gone for seven years. Men's watch list. Who's uh? Yeah, I mean he had some decent bats at the time, I believe, right? Oh, that whole squad, that whole squad. So if GTL you're, it, player. huh? GTL Glass. I was I was arguing with someone about Mitch Carriger. What level player is Mitch Carriger? Hey, he's a watch list player. That wow. dude's a good player, and you know yeah. he really didn't pitch much this year with Bay Area. Played like Yo, he's a stud. Or, yeah, he's, he's, he's for real. Mitch, Mitch is Mitch is the real deal. He's a Did he play second base for him too? He might have, dude. He was everywhere. He's a thicker dude. Usually yeah. played third or first, but he's a he's a solid pitcher is too. That lefty, lefty, right? Yeah, he's he, a, he he's, he's a, a he's a big lefty with power. Yeah. He'll just yeah. slap it through the six hole too, like and hard. Yeah, he's a good. He's a really good player. Great dude too. He, so if you're on a if you're on a major team. Even if you don't start, you get put on the major on the men's watch list or uh, on the major list. I'm, I'm not sure. Where's Hartling at? Right He's on the right. in the middle. Uh, right. yeah. So he, Hartling got moved down, even though he was on a major team. No, but yep. I've seen Hartling play. I've, yeah. Kyle, Kyle Overstreet isn't this his second year? Oh uh, wait, Overstreet's not in any. Oh, he's watch. Yeah. Yeah, I mean he was a utility guy. Yeah, exactly. Is he coming back with Rosmano? Yep. I, he, was on, he was on a list. You had him, yeah. Uh, yep, yeah. My he, list was just me making stuff up. <laughs> uh, anybody see anything here they don't like or disagree with? I know Mike Williams will be mad. Messer should come off there. Messer? 
<laughs> hey, man, right. sir. He's so funny. He should for her. He should come up there. He's old. He's old and hurt. He's still in Florida, ain't he? Right now. He's been there for like a month. I yeah, he's still at the ballpark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody got a complaint on there? That uh, looks good. Andrew Hall. I don't even I know why I'm on that list either. I'm going to petition next year to get off that one. When you bat second on a double-A team. Well, hey, you know, I, I just felt like pulling the nightmare guy. What's his name? <laughs> Fogel. Fogel, there you go. I Fogel. it. <laughs> Fogel. All right. A bunch of roof guys going on list or – they were on list. They moved up. A couple got put on. Eh, you got three guys added, I think. Joey Miller, Yoder, and Terry Lambright. Lambright. Toby Lee Tag. What do you think? Jared Hunt. What level players? Jared Hunt. He's about I think to he's have amazing. surgery. He should get taken off, too. He's about to have surgery. <laughs> Holland Bartman, Donnie Hammonds. Like- a, healthy, a healthy Hunt. Like a hunt from two, three years ago before he, I mean, he hurt his shoulder. He blew out his knee at ASA for that. When he could run the outfield and play infield? Major. Like we talked about it before. You know, like I know Dale DW says now, uh, little Marcus Miller from Rufex, the left fielder from this past year, said without a doubt, it's not even a question, pound for pound, you know, most power in the conference. Jared Hunt, I mean, Jared Hunt's five foot one. You know, yeah. that's my that's my boy. But Jared Hunt had some, still does some ridiculous power. I mean, he's got Popeye four yeah. arms. I mean, well, hey Mooch, when you guys were pure and you're playing at Columbus, uh, Ohio, on a big baseball field, mm-hmm. we had some bad balls the one year, and Hunt was the only guy. He just kept driving them How out. How many years ago was that? That was years ago. He needs to come off the list. <laughs> Brad Lunda. Where was he? Yeah, Lunda disappeared. Yeah. I think there's a good player here. Brandon I, Jackson. I like Jackson. my Lunda. You're not even thinking about Lunda. Is Jackson Just going to MPT? Brandon Jackson? No. I heard his name and Joe Boland's name thrown around over there. Boland. I did hear Boland. You're right. <laughs> Boland, Cap, Moselle. Uh, you know, I don't think we have any women's players expert. These, this is the women's list. That'll also be on conferenceutrablessay.com. I think they did a good job with the list. Um, they cleaned them up. They moved people where they should be. I feel overall, I give them an A. Yeah, they actually, last year I thought it was a little uh, shaky, to say the least, but this year, Looking at this, um, I think they did a good job. Except for that guy, uh, the number three guy from the watch list. I don't know, still kind of up in the air on that one. <laughs> I'm getting text while the show goes on. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a million. It was great. All right. So I think that's it for sharing my screen. If you, Hopefully he was sharing it. But uh, that's about it. The list will be up. Um, what do we got, guys? So, Griner, you're putting an elite double-A team together. You've already got Andy well, on your side. It's just saying double-A, it's A. <laughs> Gee, stop. So, you're killing me. I'm players dying. playing major don't matter how many players you have. Does everybody agree with that or no? Do you agree that it doesn't matter how many guys played major the year before on your double-A team? I agree. 100%. I didn't ask you. Ask any other guys. I said okay. this. This is what I said. It's yeah. my own opinion. Do I think it's would work? Yes. There's no double A. There's no nothing. There's a major World Series, top 18 make it, and there's a 325 world before it. I've always liked major, that. Major teams can play in it. Screw it. 14 home runs. No, I, I guess, agree 100%. If you make it then, just the A. Then teams won't be worried about the point system. They're like, well, Rezzy's allowed to play in this too, and they are, so we might as well just put the best team together. Yep. They might bring out Mike Trout next year. I think you know, Reiner and, and, has a different view on major. Like, 
right? Now that you're going to major all of a sudden, Mooch, you cared about points before. <laughs> with all those teams you put together to get those seven <laughs> rings you got. One year I did that in 2018. You got seven rings, right? One I got more a couple. One more than Cookies Branch. and rings. Cookies and rings. Are you tied with Branch or you got one more? I think we're tied. Joel, so where are you playing next back year? You. Joel, well, where are you playing next year? I got so I've been talking I've been looking over at Sports Reach. And then I was gonna hit up Mooch, but he got himself 18 other shortstops. And I was just saying, well, I'm irrelevant there. So I have, just no, like, I have no say on that team anyway. It looks oh. like it. It looks like it. I just I uh I, I, honestly, I might be playing with Jake by the time this session is over. You're going to watch right, it. Come on over, brother. I just, <laughs> I'm also so bad on the mood. phone that it's just like one of those things where it's like, if I do answer you, don't feel special, but it's just like, I almost never. <laughs> I'm always running around with the kids that I just like, I forget to have a phone. Like, you have to schedule me in advance to get this. So it's like, yeah. right now I'm all over the place. I've been, I've been looking at beaches for a while. I played with those cats. And then I was like, would you want to go play B? And I'm here like, I don't know, that looks fun. I've been wanting to have fun. But then I look at sports groups and they beat me 18 times this year. And they're like, hey. And I'm like, no, might as well join them. But like, I'm, I'm up in the air. I'm, I'm back and forth and ping ponging and everything. And I'm just, I'm so scatterbrained and kind of softballed out. So, you know, yeah, nothing means they're going to be gone next year anyway. <laughs> From sports yeah. group, half those guys are leaving. Yeah. If not most of them. Yeah. Is OJ McFarland involved still? Is he the sponsor? No, yeah. I think I think he left. I think uh, I think I heard Robbie Files about to get deployed or something like that. Like me and him, we chit chat. He said he's probably gonna be out. He not on his Sheffield. own account. Yeah, Sheffield is gone too, right? He Sheffield Sheffield has a uh, the work slash family going on, but yeah, he's he's usually in or out. And right now, if he's not in, then but. Uh, that would be super interesting. Mike Haney, Mike Haney has done a pretty good job. I mean, freaking, uh, my left fielder, Joey Kemper, he, he's outstanding. I think he's the best outfielder like in the game right now, no problem. And like he's been looking over. At, I was thinking about rolling with him. Oh, but it's just like from here to what? What's the first game? March? Is it usually? Yeah. In the march. Up and down and down is up and friends become enemies and you were talking smack about me and what's going I'm I can't wait for the offseason. I'm super stoked. This is yeah. offseason. Look, we all we all know this. Whatever teams that we said are kind of put together today by January first, one of them won't be together. It happens every year. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like we were just talking about Dan Smith, like Dude, that was the best team ever assembled in the history of time. Like, I don't know when they ever didn't beat somebody by a thousand. And then they're like, mm, yeah, no, no more of that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Dale, my are, goodness. Dale, not to, not to be that guy. Are we touching on anything else or are we wrapping up soon? No, nah, we'll, we'll wrap it up. You got to go? Uh, yeah, kind of. All right. Yeah. You got anything else to plug or what are you going to do in the off season? That's what I was going to ask everybody. What's your offseason uh, uh, look like? Same as usual. Bowl on Friday nights. Drink beer. Um, and actually, I believe it or not, I do do some cardio. But that's it. Spent time with the family and looking forward to 2022 and some more big things coming with Pure. So, what year are you in? Right now? I know he has Alzheimer's. What's that, G? What year are you in right now? <laughs> what year? <laughs> Uh, you what do you mean? Said you're looking forward to 2022. I said 2024. I don't know what he said. <laughs> All right, maybe you're right. right. I guess we'll have to back and watch it. But guys, right. thank you, man. I get moved. Thanks for coming by, Chris. You, oh, I think you got to go to. Uh, what's your off season look like? Uh, just round up some of these guys, the players. Um, stay in contact. Try to put like a. Tournament together and off-season tournament, something like that. Um, I play with a team called the Gold Standard, we call it. Uh, you know, we got to represent our title. I think we won every off-season Worlds there was. So, I'm going to have to try to figure that out. I mean, there was no competition, though. So, there's always that. When, when do you see your team's roster being available to the public? Like, January 1, December 1? January, yeah, when they all sign it. 
Okay. What's the team name going to be? Nitro Circus? Yep. All right. I got a few sponsors that are that some people think they have that I'm not going to list right now. Out of fight, respect. Fighting for some sponsorship. What? Who, who's your pitcher? Can we have that? Oh. I don't have a pitcher. Don't have one. All right. Mm-hmm. Nitro Circus needs a pitcher. Call Chris Grime. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Yep. Joel. Beachy, or you got a couple offers out. You should take yourself, Robinson, and Camphor. No, and maybe- Robinson and uh, Robinson and Hunter. They're going with Griner. They they just they j- wait. We were all gonna go together somewhere, and then everyone just started right. piecing off little by little. Wow. So yeah, right now it's just me, Rock, Joey, and like Tyler Wiles. Like we're all looking at each other. Like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? So we usually, you know, we got. The thinking kind of, we got lucky in a sense of where, like, I think I'm, uh, I could speak to a lot of people in the sense of where, like, I never in the past four years, I knew I was going to get a hard time from the old man, from for, from Elvin. But yeah. the feeling of I'm not going to get cut, you know, not out of arrogance, out of this dude believes in me so much of my talent that I can be me. And so yeah. for the past four years, I've been having that luxury of being like, oh, bro, I could just, you know, be me and I could get better. Luckily, I, I have you know, repaid him, you know, double fold, whatever he expects of me. And so as the rest of the squad, but now it's a very new feeling. Now it's a very new feeling. Now it's like, oh man, man, you gotta really come prepared. You gotta do all these things. But, um, you feel a little bit like, you feel like a little bit like a major league player who signed that first contract, got all those years. And now all of a sudden the whole softball world opens up for you trying to trying to stay trying to stay relevant you know yeah. as well as the best but in the end you gotta you really gotta play for why did you start in the first place you know like it's one of those things i uh i just always i just wanted to make sure that i just i wanted to it was one of those debates where it's just it's hard. It's hard coming in second or anything yeah. less than first. It's hard. It's hard. A lot of people say they don't take it home. A lot of people say they don't take it. And there's a reason why we have this show. There's a reason why this thing is so tense. You know, you can't make funny jokes. You can't say who's going where. You know, it's a real deal thing, man. It's a real deal thing. It's 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 good. Yeah. It's good for the sport. I uh, change yeah. rosters are changing by the day. Waiting for those major teams to finalize everything. Then double A. It just kind of cycles down. But what are you gonna do in the off season? Um, the kids, the kids around. Off off season, I got the kids, you know. But it it's just marinate, marinate on little things every now and then. Come back and be like, huh, you know, like keep in touch with a couple of the guys, see what's going on. But those backyard tournaments are now so much fun now, because now like you know the 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 pressure to produce, you know. Unless it's a big deal tournament for some people, like you know. But uh, I had a I had a lovely experience with Beachies about a couple weekends ago. That was outstanding. Like they, those dudes really, they have such a good core. And then watching Mooch and McClanahan going over to Roof X like that, like at first you'd be like, why are you doing that? And then you look at what they did, and you're like, whoa. Yeah. You, you like stand back and it's like bro, it was like borderline miraculous like yeah for a second they there might, i thought they were they might be that team like rufex that just needs a push and a couple of those pieces you know no i agree 100 percent. because i don't know if you if if you ever go back to the indianapolis tournament they knocked us out and they almost beat resmondo right after they played us yeah that shortstop five man, the five man is Marcus Yoder. That dude's mm-hmm. a stud. That dude's, yep. he's just, he's unreal automatic good. And then they had a shortstop, I think his name is like Kearney or something like that. That dude was making some plays that even I was like, yo, yeah. hey, I, I don't know if I would have done the same thing or have the capability to do the same thing. So it's like, th- those those cats are so young and raw and they're doing everything so effortlessly that they just need like a good, they need a good spearhead on there. They need a good, like a big brother. Like I think the best big brother in the game right now is Branch. I think wherever he goes, like it produces a standard where people like have to play better or they play better, like on accident, you know? Yeah. All right. We'll keep in touch and uh, we'll do another show after the convention and uh, 
have a good month off here. I do want to. I do want to mention. I do want to yeah. mention two. Two. Uh, I do want to mention a couple of things. Uh, Key Duenas, uh, Magas Red. Like I'm super duper happy that he always has me as a signature player. I love that guy to death. Mike Cornell, always, always. I think everyone across the board doesn't matter what brand you know. You know Mike and you know Corny. He's the man. Yeah. Everybody loves him. Uh, thank your sponsors. Thank your coaches. Thank your teammates for putting up with all your wah, wah, wahness. And thank everybody for, like, everyone being around. Every, put uh, collectively together the the packing, the getting the trips together. The, the, just make sure you thank everybody around you yeah. that puts up with your softballness. And one last thing. I think, I think the major tournament. If you're not a major team. I was, including my team, I was kind of disappointed in a sense of where, like, you don't need to give up at the major and make the major teams an even easier tournament. They don't need it. Yeah. They yeah. don't need it. If you're not there for the major to try to win the major, don't come. Stop doing that. They don't need an easier road. Like, yeah. I don't know if you saw the first game of the major. I think that's where it first hurt. Like, I recognized it. But, like, Danny O of LSR held Rosmondo to, like, 17 runs. Yeah. And then they score 17 runs in the first inning against us. Like, there's little things like that. Like, but there the champ doesn't actually have to win, you know? Yeah, there was an opportunity there for LSR, uh, no doubt, but they got shut down. I, Travis Clark shut them down. But, yeah, I was I was going to say, too, uh, shout out to Jim Troop. It's his birthday. Uh, rest in peace, Jennifer Johnson Campbell. And Lance Smith. Lance Smith was also a, a former conference player and, and professional wrestler, I guess. Uh, passed away from a heart attack this week. Uh, and then I think that's all I have. Uh, reports, condensed games, all still coming out. You got to remember, when you cover six tournaments, it takes 12 days to get the content out. Six times 12, 72 days. I need 72 days to get the content out. So. That's about it. I appreciate uh, Bernie in the background uh, hosting this show and, and Joel for coming in. Say hello to your wife for me. No, absolutely. DW, you're uh, the man. Thank you for putting everything yep. together, bro. Yep. Okay, Bernie, we're good.